We just like to torment people like this, so go ahead. Hello, everybody. You know, you know me as Sifu Jacob Ignacio. Um, before I found God, before, you know, my life was with God, I was going through hard times in my life, a lot of, uh, you know, bad and really hard times in my life. And one day, you know, things, I just had a very bad day one day. Then one day I went home, I was so bad, I thought I, I thought I lost everything. That's how bad it was. Then I went home. I didn't know anything about religious channel or anything like that. I never, I mean, I go to church on Christmas, Easter. I got married in church. You know, that's all I know. When I do go to church on Sunday, I didn't listen or anything. It wasn't. Then when that, I had that very bad day where I thought I lost it all. Went home, I watched TV. I turned the channel of TV on. At that time, I didn't know it was a 700 Club. Mm. I never knew what that was. So I was watching it, and what's his name, Pat Robinson or something? Mm -hmm. I didn't know who he was, I didn't know what the channel was, so I changed it. Same channel again came. I was like, whoa. And the guy, the guy in 700 Club kept talking, and I felt it from my heart. Oh man, this guy talking to me? No way. <laughs> you know? So I changed the channel again. Same channel. So, mm. he talked to me, and you know how it says in the 700 Club, okay, he's told me, find Christ in your life, you need Jesus, you need Christ in your life, and he pointed to the TV screen, mm. and it, that amazed me, I was like, wow, mm -hmm. you know, so then he said, okay, let's pray, pray for you, and then I was in front of the TV, and when that Pat Robinson guy, 700 Club, said pray, I bowed my head and I started praying. I didn't know how to pray before. And so I just followed, I repeated the words that he said on the TV. You know? Then I was on the verge of losing my business, everything. They actually locked me out. Then I remembered I was supposed to do a self defense, women's self defense class. My friend, all I, I, never, I knew that he was a pastor, Pastor Roland Gray. I just do it as my client. Oh, Roland Gray, that's my client. He says, hey, he invited me, that was about 7 in the evening. Hey, come and check out um, this class, where you can do the class. I went there and I was asking questions about God, about what it is, you know, and this and that. I was totally cool the time. And then I remember my first Sunday in Life in the Sun, me and my lovely wife, Vanessa. We went there, you know, we grew up Catholic and all that. So we got down to the car, I'm shaking when I'm walking in. Oh, man. So we went back to the car, and we're like, Man, are you sure you're going to do this? You know, then I remember that guy on the TV pointed to me, you need Christ in your life. <laughs> Pat Robinson, I didn't know he was at the time. So we got down the car, I went to the elevator, third floor, I could hear music in the elevator. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I was shaking in, and then what caught me, what really made me feel welcome was the ushers, the smile on their faces. Yes. Right when they opened that smile, made me go in. Because I, I was in the back, I was nervous. <laughs> then, um, you know, then somebody who's the one who works at the clinic. Greg, Greg. 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 Okay, we only just kind of broke into our kit and we took my hand. From there on, then my first Sunday, I felt what I know now was the Holy Spirit. Amen. It went into my body Thank and God. it's a feeling that I cannot explain yeah. ever since that. I going to church every day. I never, I'm a guy that never used to go to church. But ever since that first Sunday, I cannot miss. Now I'm like, hurry, we're going to be late. <laughs> I'm always counting on it. And now I actually listen. <laughs> so then, I invited, my, I invited my cousin to it. My cousin Trey over there is also my longtime student. I said, hey, you got to come check this place out, man. And you feel it. And that's how she got in. Then I took Biblical Foundations. That was a long book. <laughs> but you know what? Now I'm not this. Now I understand it. And ever since God was in my life, man, things have miracles. I, I can't explain it. Yes. Now prayers in my life constantly. Now me and my family, we pray when we eat. We never used to do that. Now I pray like, man, I estimate 10, 11 times a day. It's, like, it's really awesome. That's all I can say. That's good. Great. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>